Hi, so Pizza Graham here again. Um, if you all saw the review from uh, a couple of days ago, uh, Detroit Pizza smashed it. New high score, 8.6. And this is Chef Ryan O'Flynn, who is the man behind it. Um, very, very interesting story. We'll get to that in a minute. So first of all, thank you so much. That was amazing. Great, thanks, thanks for taking the time to come down south and uh, give us a shot. <laughs> yes, it's not a problem. So a couple of questions, I know you're very busy. Um, Neapolitan Pizza, New York Pizza, Romano Pizza, Global. You can get it anywhere in the world. Detroit Pizza, you can't. Not yet, but it's, um, it's all started. We're the, we're the first Detroit-style pizza to open up this side of the pond. I'm right. um, actually the first one in the UK, definitely the first one in London, and as far as we know, the first one, you know, this, this, this side. So, um, it was, you know, it started to take off um, in North America, outside of uh, just Detroit. Um, you know, a really famous chef out of Buddies. Um, he went and won an international competition right. with it. They gave it a good spotlight. Right. Um, and then it really took off from there, opened up on the New York Strip, um, where, you know, getting the uh, $5 a slice right. award, which isn't an easy thing to do and stay no, open. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, it really took off from there. Now you can get it down in Texas, um, and you can get it all the way up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada as well, right. too. So it's, we were the first one to take it this way. Reason being was, um, I like, I love Neapolitan pizza. I love New York. Um, I like Chicago deep dish. But I really thought that you know we should focus on Detroit so we could kind of be Switzerland in a way and get all Americans okay. to come in and enjoy us on some neutral ground and uh, you know and that's what we do is we cater to a lot of Americans. And in the, this fun, area. the funny thing is that on the on the pizza verse over the last few months a lot of people have been talking about Detroit pizza. Um, so I'm very happy to be here. So Chef Ryan Oakley, you've got a very interesting history. So yeah, you are you are you're an acclaimed chef. You've been you've won awards. You've been written up. You've worked in some really great restaurants. You worked with some really really great chefs over the years. It's a massive move, leaving all that behind and going into the pizza world. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, yeah, I guess it, it all started. Um, we moved over here for myself and my partner Courtney. We moved over here a month before the pandemic hit, right. um, and with an idea to open up a great restaurant and a cocktail bar. Yeah. And, uh, and then the pandemic hit and we were locked down and um, we could get a good burger when we were missing the flavors of home. You know, London's got a great burger scene, um, but we couldn't find an American pie. I mean, there is a couple, you know, I'll do some shout outs later to a couple in the area. Um, there's a, a one really good one that does a New York slice, um, buy the slice, um, but really just the majority of it, and we just couldn't get our fix, at least not delivered to our door. And I haven't tried every American pizza in London, so I, I do apologize if I've missed you. But um, so it was created out of necessity. We couldn't get the flavor we wanted, so we did a little startup, oh, and here we are. How long have you actually been here? We're nine months now. Okay, nine months. Yeah. I will say, 4.9 rating on Google. I've never seen a 4.9 rating on Google. Yeah. So ever for any restaurant. Uh, so that, that is amazing. Um, what were your plans for the future? I mean, are you going to see how it goes? You expect it to be this successful because your people are talking about it. Yeah, we're we're definitely um, like you said, this was a startup, this was a passion project, this was built out of necessity. Right. So number one, we could get the flavors that we wanted, a bit of nostalgia in a tough time. But right. uh, the other thing too is I wanted to get outside because I wasn't good I wasn't right. good being locked down. Oh, yeah, okay. And this um, this took off. It, it's really it's been something that's been amazing and we're really flattered and humbled by it. So the next step is is getting this small little startup to a really big storefront and uh, get into the hands right. of all, all Londoners. Okay, my last question before I go is, is you're really passionate about pizza. I've noticed since I've been doing this that um, pizza, people in the pizza business are really, really passionate about it. Is it like those other foods? I mean, I know it is with hamburgers, but I, I haven't seen this before in the, in the uh, sort of restaurant world, the passion is behind it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, pizza is a pretty special thing. It's an art. It's cultural. It, it falls in the same category as cheese. It even gets political in a lot of places. You know, it's um, it's people fight over it. People love over it. It causes war. It causes peace. There's nothing quite as powerful as pizza. You know, you can you can have a really angry guest or customer in your restaurant. You give them a slice of pizza and it puts a smile on their face. I mean, you know, there's not a lot of things that that harness that power. And also, when people invite you to their city, whether it's in, in Naples, or if it's in New York, or if it's in Wisconsin, everyone's really excited about taking a guest from out of town to their local pizza joint right. and to their pizza shop and, and yeah, showing them a taste true. of their town. So yeah. it's also an extension of one's home and, uh, and who they are. So. so my only regret 
And my only complaint is that you're a sound driver, not an old driver, and you won't deliver to me. But hopefully in the future that will change. Well, hopefully we can work on that and get us in yeah. the north, south, east, so, and west. So. Listen, thank you so much. It was, it was truly delicious. Thank and you. It, was, it, it, it was it's difficult to explain <laughs> what that actually was like, because it was actually like eating the work of art. But Thanks. listen, thank you very much. I know you're busy. Thank Thanks. you for letting us in here. And I, hope you, I wish you every success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye.